Hello, Gilmer Buckeye Nation, and welcome to the Gilmer Buckeyes Coaches Show. I'm Jeff Rash, your host, and I'm joined today by the head coach of the Gilmer Footballs and athletic director, Mr. Alan Metzel. Alan, good to see you today. Good to be here. Uh, we're going to talk a little football today, folks. We're going to dive right into it and uh, get to business. We're going to talk about and analyze the Gladewater game uh, from this past week, and then we're going to talk about the Henderson game coming forward. Before we jump right into the football, I do want to point out to you that we uh, do have several ways for you to watch the game Live, we've added a couple of additional ones that may be more convenient for you. I want to thank Eric Connitz for handling that for us. Uh, first of all, you can watch it on, on ETEX, Channel 1 or Channel 601. Secondly, you can go to GilmerBuckeyes.com and you can watch it you know, on your tablet, on your computer, on your phone. You can download the Vimeo app on your smart TV or your Roku device or Fire Stick, whatever you happen to have. And you can search uh, there and find it. Uh, and now we're also going to be streaming the game live on Facebook and live to YouTube. And so that's going to be probably one of the better ways, actually, especially if you want to watch it on your television. You can, uh, one of the things that you can go to the YouTube, uh, download the YouTube app if you don't already have it on your smart TV or Fire Stick or whatever, and you can go and look for uh, Gilmer Buckeyes, and you can search it out that way. Probably a better way that Eric has suggested for us is if you will go to the link we're going to post the link to that channel on uh, the GilmerBuckeyes.com uh, site. So if you go watch the game and you go to the player, right underneath there, there's going to be a Facebook link and a, and a YouTube link. If you will click that link and go to open up YouTube on your phone, then click subscribe, then go to your smart TV and, and download your YouTube app, or you probably already have it. If you have a smart app, it's pretty common then your subscribe channels will be uh, on your, your TV. So there's, there's the best ways that you can do it. But you can do Facebook, you can do YouTube, Vimeo, GilmerBuckeyes.com, uh, or Channel 1 or 601 on eTech. So you've got five different ways that you can watch the game, and so hopefully one of those work for you. So now let's get into the football game. We played Great. Gladewater this last week, yes, sir. And, uh, and the series is still belongs to the Gilmer Buckeyes. That's just how we want it. That's exactly how we want it. So that makes, I think we had 15 straight wins, Going all the way back to 2001. Correct. Uh, and now we're going to add number 16 to that. Right. For any of our friends in Gladewater, I want to repeat that. That's 16 straight wins for the Gilmore Buckeyes. That wasn't very Christian, was it? Hey, it's okay. I'm just gonna, it I'll pray it through on Sunday. So now we, let's let's talk about the game a little bit. Yes, sir. I, let's start with the positives. What did you see, Coach, that you really, you know, it's early in the season, first game. What did you see you like? Stand out, you know, right off the bat is I love that we, we had a little adversity right there at the first. We fumble on our first drive. They score right off the bat. Yeah. Didn't phase us. You know, our guys, uh, our leadership on the team, everybody just said, hey, we're good to go. Play the next play. Yeah. And we did. Got the momentum right back, went down and yeah. scored and just and had it rolling from that point forward. Uh, we're able to put a good bit of points mm -hmm. up. And uh, so that really stood out to me. And then also just the way our defense Swarm to the ball. I like seeing that. Yeah, I thought they did good. I thought the defensive line, especially, a lot of penetration all Absolutely. night long. They got off the ball really well. Yeah, we're going to talk about that and even show a couple of video mm -hmm. highlights of that here in a few minutes. Uh, what did you see that you didn't like? What, what did well, we need to improve on in that first week? We, we jumped off sides six times, you know, on defense. It's first time I've ever seen that. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> You had a handful of guys. It was their first varsity game. Yeah. Uh, the whole mantra from the defensive side was stop that fullback, you know, get off the ball, and we just were a little too uh, antsy in that department. So we got to get that fixed. Yeah. Uh, the offensive line, I don't, I don't believe they had mm -hmm. one penalty on. on did they have a well? Illegal there procedure? was not no illegal procedures. We had a penalty downfield blocking on the screen yeah. that. Yeah. That we would uh, argue was a penalty. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't feel yeah. like it was. So, yeah, uh, sure. but yeah. aside from that, yeah. uh, I, our guys played pretty clean on our on our side of the ball. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I would say is some of our special teams we we lost some lane integrity a time or two. Obviously, on the kickoff return, we got to tighten that up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are just kind of normal things that yes. happen in the first, first game for yeah. sure. I think at halftime I looked at the stats and we were like at eight penalties and seventy yards or something like that. Still had. I believe their total offensive yards in the first half was like 129 up to our 388 right. or something like right. that. So it was, exactly. a, it was a real one-sided game. Obviously had some real standout players yes. in the game. Uh, Brandon Tennyson. Brandon just stepped in and yeah. took over. Uh, you can see the athleticism he has. He, he 
He's a very gifted athlete. He can run. He, he threw the ball extremely well. Yeah. Just stepped into the leadership spot and did an awesome job. And then you see Mason uh, Hurt, who <laughs> has started for two years, and we come into this season, we feel like this move is going to make us better. He's like, Coach, whatever I got to do, make he's the that, team he's better. He's that kind of kid. It's amazing. Yeah, he's that amazing. Kind of that selflessness. And then he goes out yeah. and catches uh, and six like, passes. Looked from like a D1 yards. receiver. He did. I mean, he you're did. talking about moving a kid from quarterback exactly. into receiver slot, uh-huh. and they can play interchangeably. Yes. And I'm sure we'll see it that way maybe some throughout the year. It could happen. Uh, depending on the, what we're looking for, mm-hmm. right? Because both those guys are great receivers oh, and quarterbacks absolutely. as well. Both great athletes. So that's a great segue. Let's mm-hmm. look at a couple of pieces of film here. Okay. Uh, this first one that we're going to look at, we're going to set up here. This is the, I think this is right after you've been down the field. After they scored. They scored. Right. On the, we fumbled, they mm-hmm. scored. That's right. Next and, drive. And then the very next drive, we come out and we throw a long one right off right. the bat right. to Mason. So set this up for us. You bet. Here we are. We're trying to recapture the momentum. We know, uh, you know that we've got to flip it on them. And so this is something that we have worked on all week long. We felt like we could get Mason on their cornerback and go over the top. You'll see him lean inside, get the guy leaning. He goes right by him. Brandon throws a great throw, puts it on him, 38 yards. And now, you know, you've got your juices going again. Yeah, ready to go. yeah, that kind of shifted that momentum right absolutely. back. You know? oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And so this is the play right before that. We probably should have showed this one right, first, right. really. But this is the play. This is like the third play of the game. Correct. They, they get the fumble. Right. They're down there deep in on on our side of the mm-hmm. field. So we're thinking, okay, let's get a let's, let's, let's pin them. Stop. Right. Let's pin them and get the ball right. back. Right. Exactly. But but uh, the the number two. He's an athlete. DJ, DJ Allen. Allen. He's a D one athlete. Right. He runs like a ten eight. Mm-hmm. 100 meter, right? Which and that was as a freshman, right. I understand. So the guy is a speedster. Phenomenal if you if you don't box him, you've got mm-hmm. problems, right? right? And so this is the third play here where he scores. Why don't you set up and tell us what happened here? You know, I went ahead and put this on. This isn't a highlight for us. It is for DJ. But it, just sometimes it's important to see, okay, what happened and how did things break down. You're going to see as we start to play out. We know he's a talented player, and we actually have him double covered. We have a, a guy under him, a guy over him. And uh, so schematically, we feel like we're in good shape. Yeah. We lost uh, our leverage, and you're going to see right there, uh, our safety is there to make the tackle and overruns it a little bit. Once he gets in the open, we're yeah. you know, oh, you're not going to you, catch it. Yeah, once he's behind right. you, that's it. It's Very over. talented. So those yeah. are some of the things that we've got to improve, like you talked about a minute ago. Angles, making sure we're in a little bit better positioning. Yeah, so, so let's, do that. let's come back now to the uh, – to the one of my favorite plays of the game, actually maybe my very favorite play of the game, if mm-hmm. if not one sure. or two, sure. and this is where you're using the, utilizing those two quarterbacks that you got, two guys that can sling the ball, catch right. the ball, and and we demonstrate that here with a double pass. Right. So t- tell us about what you're thinking here, and why'd you, you know, why'd you pull it at, at this point in the game? We we felt like you know it, it was the the right yard line to to run this particular play. We felt like we crossed the fifty. We want to be aggressive again. They're playing a really high safety. Sometimes if they're low, you can go over them. Sometimes if they're really high, you can go under them. And uh, this guy is playing pretty high over here uh, on the hash. And so we felt like with Mason being able to have a feel, he can put the ball on somebody. And and you see here, we Brandon takes the snap, throws it out. Mason's got pressure right in his face. Yeah. Throws the ball. He to, took a shot. He took right. a shot right in the chest. Hits Cody on the flag route right there, and you know we get another 30-yard play uh, and gets us down inside the 10 area, and we end up scoring. Okay, so this is another Gilmer touchdown right here. This is Spraglin, who's yes. one of your one of fastest guys. I mean, one of your fastest yeah. guys on the field. When Absolutely. he gets the ball, he's, he's, he's downfield. So let's walk us through this one. You bet. Uh, right here, we feel like we can get Spraglin over the top of their safety. Uh, Brandon is going to read this. He has several progressions. He can look uh, high if the safety – Stays low. If the safety turns and gets deep, he'll hit. He'll check down to his intermediate route or even into the flat. Well, on his after he gets the snap, he's seeing the safety. We've got him circled right there. The safety shoulders stay flat. Brandon goes over the top. And of course, Marche's speed takes over. Brandon drops it right on him, and you're into the end zone. Yeah, big play. All, all the way, big play. And yes. he's, he's in the end zone ten yards ahead of the defenders behind him. Right. So that was just executed just as perfect as you did. That's what you, you do in practice every That's day. Right? That's, That's how it right. looked like on the chalkboard. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You, you rarely get to see those things come to fruition, but when they do, man, they're it's pretty, fantastic. It is. So this was, I thought this was a great play, and uh, this is a young player. This is an up-and-coming star, I think. He's 
great football head. This is uh, right. Roy, Roy, Roy Fluellen. He's mm-hmm. got a feel for football. He does. And uh, he is a sophomore this year, but this is a little screen uh, pass to Rowan. So yes. set that one up for you. Him. You've got uh, their D lines really trying to get off the ball and penetrate. They're rushing upfield. Obviously, screening a team like that is something you want to do. And so we, we pass set. The D line gets up the field. The linemen are getting downfield into their lanes. Rowan just had, like you said, he has a great feel and catches that wave of linemen and gets into the end zone. Yeah, turns it back to the right there. That mm-hmm. was a great job there by. He had a, he had a good defensive he pop did. too. He flipped the guy. He did. You know, so he played well. I thought on both sides of the ball for such a young man. Exactly. Uh, so looking forward to good things from him. Uh, this next one I thought was really cool because it shows the aggressiveness. They're going to fumble the ball on the three point attempt. Mm-hmm. Look how fast the Buckeyes swarm around it. And again, that's why I put this in here. You know, we made a stand, put them in a position where they've got to kick a field goal. Many times you see teams relax and just let them kick and kind of see, hope that they miss. Our guys are going, and uh, they get off the ball. When the snap goes through the guys' hands, we've got white jerseys all over the place, and you see at the finish of the play, you've got almost the whole defensive team right there around that ball. Yeah, and tell them what you tell them. Explain to the fans what you explained to the to the defense about their proximity to the ball. Our guys, we measure their <laughs> worth. It's a quote we say. We measure your worth by the proximity to the ball when the whistle blows. So are you standing 15 yards away or are yeah. you right there at the ball? It's it's a way to measure their hustle. Yeah. And you can see it on that play. Right you don't want somebody watching the, fan, watching the play from exactly. way back there. And get, go get in it, right? That's right. You never know where the ball is going to no. go. No. Never know how the ball bounces. So this next one was a great uh, defensive play. Uh, this was Cody's pick six that got called back. Correct. But it was just a great heads-up defensive play. Yes, and this is Cody Guidry. Uh, we get Gladewater in a position where they're behind the chain, so to speak, third and long. They, their offense, they don't prefer that scenario. We're able to play high safeties in this case. Cody's one of those guys. He does a great job of getting his eyes on the quarterback. He's, he's working out off the hash. We've got him circled right there. You're going to see him working for width. He sees the throw, makes the play. That's perfect. Boy, he perfect. just broke to that right ball there. perfectly. And takes it down. And you see our guys getting down the sideline, blocking, leading the way, trying to get him in the end zone. There was a call where they said somebody pushed somebody in the back and it moved it back. We ended up scoring on the drive later. Yeah, Cody's coach is is uh, is going to be Bowman, right? Coach, right? Coach Bowman, Coach Britton both worked okay. the safeties and the corners, same. you bet. So, Absolutely. you know, young, former Gilmer Buckeye played right. the same position. That's right. And so, you know. He's bringing him up. It was, it was textbook. Yes. Right? That's the way it's supposed to look. So that That's was right. awesome. This next one is another Buckeye score. This was uh, this this time it was Tennyson mm-hmm. uh, scrambling. Exactly. You know, we've got a play here. We're looking to get Mason in the, in the middle of the defense. I've got an opening back there with their – wide safeties, and I, I circled there. Their linebacker did a great job walling him and taking him high. So Brandon, at this point, now it's on him to find something, and he does, and that's where his athleticism takes over. He makes about four or five guys miss and gets into the end zone. Yeah, you've got all your receivers kind of going deep on that yes. one, so they carried all the safeties that's with right. him. So now all he has to do is beat an outside linebacker, that's right. and, and, and he does and he's in without a problem. He's he's good. Exactly. Uh, this next one, we got two more to look at real quick. This was another Buckeye touchdown. This time it was uh, Griffin. Okay, right here we we're looking at uh, Gladewater secondary. They've been have playing with two high safeties, uh, and we we're going to try and get Jaden Griffin into the middle. Well, we come out. They now have a middle safety. So you can see where I've got the number two. That's their middle safety. They're playing a cover three. Well, Jaden recognizes that turn. And uh, signals to Brandon, communicates to him how he's going to adjust the route. Brandon nods back at him, and uh, they complete the play. Excellent job on their part of recognizing the defense, being able to make the adjustment, touchdown. That's an example of having a senior receiver who knows what's going on. (laughs) They're actually reading the defense, and they're signaling each other. Absolutely. So they're they're actually like, is this an eye signal? Well, it was a little hand signal, but I want to say what it was. Exactly. But that was pretty impressive on their part to to be on top of that. Yeah, yeah. great job, like you said, by the senior. Absolutely. This last play is just an aggressive defensive play by Yuseda. Yes, Omar Yuseda had a tremendous uh, defensive game. You see him here in the middle. He's our middle linebacker. You're going to see him come through the line on a stunt, take out the running back, hit the quarterback, get a big sack. 
just you just again you see the aggressiveness yeah. that we're trying to establish on defense. Yeah, and 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 obviously for the first game, I thought it was you, you had that. Yes. There was a lot of momentum defensively. I thought one of the biggest keys to the game, and there were several, but I thought the biggest key to the game was we never allowed their quarterback to get the ball off. Right. He could sling a football. Right. He can throw. You it. know, he can throw right. it. He Downfield, did. he demonstrated right. that, but we were in his face all night long. All night long. So he just didn't have much opportunity. No. I noticed you were blitzing some. Oh, yeah. And well, really coming at him. There's two ways to cover. And one is to put multiple people on a guy, and the other is to go get the quarterback. And we kind of like that one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it worked yeah. out for you pretty yes, good. Sir. So that's uh, that was a great game. Congratulations. You are uh, you probably are the, from a percentage point, you're probably <laughs> the top coach in the state of Texas right you now. Go. You're you you're 100% winning. So at the let's, moment. Let's keep that going. That's right. So uh, got your first win in the books, and now we're going to Henderson. So let's talk right. about that. What are we looking at from Henderson this week? Are they any good? What kind of sets do they run? Tell us yes. what we're looking for. Henderson's 1-0. Uh, they defeated Liberty Ilo the other night. Uh, Henderson has a great... Uh, history. They have a lot of. Uh, they have a good culture in their in their system. Uh, Phil Castles has been there four or five years and and does a great job. He's he's a defensive coach, and so you always expect their defenses to be really tough to play. Uh, they give you a lot of looks, a lot of looks. They're a three four four three uh, five one. They're blitzing from everywhere. Uh, they've got uh, number fifteen. He'll play outside linebacker. They'll bring a corner off a of blitz and play him at corner. He plays safety. So in order to, to be able to handle all that, you've got to do a good job mentally in preparation. And so we really hammered that this week on, on recognizing what they're in so that we can take advantage of, of yeah. what they're doing. Uh, their nose guard really stands out. Number 99, uh, I believe it's Devin Fields. Big guy, gets a lot of penetration. So we're going to have to put bodies Contain on him. him. Yeah, he, he, he's a wrecker. You know, he'll, he'll mess up your plays. Yeah. So he's tough on defense. Offensively, they run the spread like we do. They mm-hmm. run a lot of our sets. Uh, quarterback's uh, uh, taken over. This is his first year to start. He's a big guy. I'd say 6'2", 6'3", probably 200 plus. You know, he's a he's a big fella uh, with a good arm. Uh, really strong at the running back position. Got three guys, number three, six, and eight. Those guys can really go. So you got to keep them bottled up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they've got some good-looking receivers out there that – you know, so they're, I would say they're very balanced. You know, they, they can run, they can throw, they can throw outside. They can yeah, throw number inside. 15 plays offensively and defense. He's their inside yeah. receiver, and he's that guy that moves all around on defense. He's got good hands. He does. He's a good athlete. Good he's athlete. A, he's, their, he's their top guy. Right? He is. I yeah. would say so. So we're going to have to stay on top of him. Correct. Yeah. So they're so, a good team. We're going to have to play well. Yeah. So what's your score prediction again? Uh, zero zero to start, <laughs> and then we'll go from and there. Then we'll see what happens. There, there. you go. And one of these days, I'm going to get one out of you. I'm going to be maybe taping it secretly. Yeah, you might have to have it in your phone, in yeah. your pocket. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. So we have got Gladewater down. Congratulations. We got Henderson coming up uh, tomorrow night. I, we're going to try to post these uh, game shows. We had a technical glitch on this one. We actually filmed it last Sunday, but it didn't work out. So we're going to try to have these posted by every Monday morning. Actually, Great. late Sunday night if you're up late, because Eric always goes home and does it late. And uh, so we apologize for not having this one out until later in the week. But uh, we're excited about the season, Coach. Very Great nice. job in Gladewater. We're excited about the boys. Love what we saw. It was a lot of fun to call that game, and the fans loved it. And I heard a lot of good feedback from the job that Eric Connors and oh. that whole team has done. Video you know, team's film, been video, amazing. And I mean, they're the heroes of Gilmer this year because they're bringing football to the yes. to the fans. So yeah. we're really uh, proud of them. Thanks to all of our sponsors, uh, especially uh, Godarzy and Young for sponsoring the season. Those guys yes, have sir. stepped up in a big way, and Etex has stepped up and helped us, and all of our other sponsors. So if you're watching commercials during the game and you see the sponsors, go give your business to those people yeah. because they care about the school district. They they support everything. Not just football. Right. It's more everything. The whole school. It's the same yeah. people constantly mm-hmm. over and over that step up. So right. make sure you uh, you thank those folks. And so on behalf of Alan Metzl and myself, we appreciate you watching the coaches show today. And we will see you Friday night, either on the field or live on television.